Good day, collectors. Sci-Fi back again with another action figure review. Well, I've managed to have picked up quite a few of my November figures, and here we are. The, the first one, I won't say the best, but it's one that I've been really looking forward to, and that is the Magna Guard, and it says here from the Clone Wars, and of course the blind box. It's probably the last one I think. I will be reviewing. I can't see any more coming out on that. Number 15. There we go. Nice artwork there. And what is the word? Magna Guards and placeable droids who guarded key separatist leaders. Proved tough opponents of the Jedi with their deadly electro staffs. They could even keep fighting, even if they're losing limbs or heads. That's true. Chopped the head off. They've still got a processing unit in their chest yeah so to speak all right and then we go some nice artwork i like that anything else in oh there is another figure there what is that i don't know how many more clone wars figures they're going to make if you're going to do it hasbro make some good ones make embo yeah embo would be good and he's mate the little tiny little figure who sits on in the headspace of that giant bounty hunter droid. I forget his name. What's his name? Anyone down below? I like comments. Please leave them. That'll be great. Anyway, so there we go. <coughs> That's the box. There we go. What was it? Number 15. And then we go. I've put the figure in a stance that... I'll leave it at that because I can't stand it up straight. It's an absolute bugger of a figure. What is it? It stands. Normally, I don't need to stand here. 6.2 inches, 15. So it's only a little taller than your normal. Oh, shit. I lost one of those bloody electro staff things. Yeah, bear with me. And hopefully that doesn't. Yeah, there we go. So he's all. Fuck off. So he's in a nice pose, anyway. <laughs> these things is what it is it's a nice looking figure yeah excuse the swearing yep it'd be nice if they with the cloth around the droid to make that darker I mean, this is clone wars even though these things are seen in revenge of the sith still just to differentiate the whole droid versus cloth and again the two cloths yeah there we go and that looks good and it trenches over it's pretty cool these um shoulder pads here this one yeah falls off quite I've only had it out for a, about an hour or so and it's bloody Bits of it just fall off it, as you can see, along with the Electro Staff thing there. I'm not even going to bother now. I'll just get me cranky and I'll swear more. And there we go, the legs. So it probably has the full, you know, shoulder, elbow. I reckon there's a joint there. So on, so on. It's always a third joint, you know, just like his, um, just like his counterpart boss um what's his name general grievous yeah there's always a different joint that click 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 and yet yeah, comes with this dirty great big staff looks good and yeah it comes with this clear cylindrical plastic thing totally different and then of course you've got your electricity pouring out from it of course this one here just is gonna be a complete twat and not fit oh there we go that f and that did the job but it also let's just look around yeah that's nice that's pretty cool there's a lot of detail in there yeah i'm not gonna pick on it too much i know some Again, I keep mentioning one of the bigger YouTubers. I'll mention his name, Landspeeder Luke. 
He's had this for a while and he reckons this thing is absolutely shizer. He does not like it one little bit. Because it just falls to bits and whatnot. And that's okay, Luke, that's fine. But it looks good to me. Because it's very hard to get these things in my neck of the woods. So will it stand again after I've been playing around with it? I don't know. The cape looks good. It's very clean though. Still, yeah, it should. Um, yeah, that's good. I wouldn't mind to see part of the cloth or part of it a little bit darker grey. Just so you can differentiate. <clears throat> and of course comes another staff. Why? I don't know. There it is. <clears throat> Okay, I can always give it to this guy. That was not my first idea. Again, land speed of Luke. Thank you. Alright, yep, because I don't remember this dude holding a gun. Alright, yeah, so I'll give that to him. And because it's not going to go to waste the gun. Well, I don't know, I've got a billion bloody guns. So yeah, it's all the last of these boxes. With the blind box and the weird packaging yeah <laughs> that's what all these weird little um, these things came why yep there we go all right glad to have it you know sorry about the tables absolutely it doesn't matter how much I wipe it down it just gets filthy anyway I'm glad to have it I really am um, any more Clone Wars figures that you'd like to see and I don't mean troopers or Anakins or Obi-Wans or something new something new yeah personally Embo and that cra other crazy um, bounty hunter with a little tiny guy in the head and has a big, yeah, I think it was in season three. A very, um, very, uh, sort of, very nice episode, if you remember that. And then they, of course, appeared elsewhere. Yep, Wolf and Cub type episode. Is it Wolf and Cub? I don't know. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. I've got many more figures coming up shortly. I'll leave it at that. Okay, guys. Sci-fi out. And any comments you want to leave below, that'd be nice. I'll see you all then. Sci-fi out. And the force is with you. Always.